Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man. We're off on a mission to rescue a VIP. The VIP's name, Vladimir Malakov. He's an engineer, and if we get him back home successfully, we get ourselves another dude who can dig up all the tunnels inside our base. Let's go. Setting course for Sector 1, the Arctic. All right. Hey, we got squad size one. That's right. We can bring five people instead of four. That's such a huge improvement. But you know what? I don't want a second. I don't want a second ranger. I want a second grenader. Unfortunately, six days until we get our corporal grenader. But you know what? We can bring another squaddy. Oh, man. You know what's great about grenaders? They bring two grenades instead of one. That is very pink. Corbo? Oh my god, this is very pink. How pink do you need to be? Obviously you need to be more pink. Repeater? Nah. Uh, I don't think anyone would really benefit from a repeater in this squad. Make weapons available. I need to put Stocky on you. There's Stocky. Stocky's got those distinctive yellow hearts that say, Hey, I might miss, but I'm still going to hit you. <laughs> All right, are we good to go? I think we're good to go. Flashbang. Let's see. Acid grenade, regular grenade, lots of grenades. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Rescue Vladimir Molokov. It says it's easy, which means there's probably three pods. I wonder how many stun lancers there's going to be this time. There were four stun lancers on the last mission. Four. Sky Ranger deployed. I mean, if you're going to position for deployment. Shut up, Firebrand. If you're going to introduce a new enemy, don't do it with four at the same fucking time. Holy shit, that was rough. We had three stun lancers at the same time active, and then there was another one later on. I don't need that many stun lancers on the first mission we, where we see stun lancers. It's like, oh god! But we survived, and hopefully we will persevere. The Resistance is asking for our help in rescuing an important VIP of theirs that was recently captured by Advent forces in this region. Novgorod, huh? Recon indicates plenty of hostile activity in the area. We'll need to lock down the AO, secure the VIP, and eliminate all enemy contacts standing in our way. Operation Steely Shriek. I hope that's not the Steely Shriek of the, of the uh, VIP as he's getting blown up or burned to death or something. Yeah, just the fact we get another soldier is so good. And he's bringing two grenades, that's even better. <laughs> Hello, CCG. Load. Thank you. Holy shit. This is on an SSD. I mean, it's like... Why does it take so long to load a map? Come on! Alright, where is the VIP? Menace 1 5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. He's in a holding Move to cell. Rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile okay. contacts. Got it. So we have 12 Positions turns. Concealed. 12 turns on VIP missions. We have to break into this building. We have to hack his door to his cell. There's the door. See how it's red? That means we have to hack it. Um, we can either touch it or we can hack it from a range with the uh, specialist. But if you hack it from range, you still have to touch it to open it. The other option is just say, fuck hacking it. You grenade the wall. That works too. Grenading the wall is fine. Just make sure you don't kill the VIP. The VIP is always in the center of these little holding cell rooms. They're not going to be on the bed. They're not going to be on the toilet. They're always in the center. So if you blow up just like one little corner of the wall, you're fine. All right, let's get a move on. That's affirmative. 
Stay clear of those turrets. Ooh, a turret. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Our first turret, everybody. Verstanden. Hook up. Heading there now. Moving to position. Uh oh, what do you see, Meep Not? Without the introduction of human DNA, Vipers. these creatures Ooh, once operating okay. under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. These are fondly known as snake tits because they are snakes with tits. I wonder if they can move from that position. I think they can. I think they can hop the fence onto the roof and then walk around. Um, but yeah, if we grenade that position, she will fall and take falling damage. So we might do that just for funsies. Location confirmed. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. I want it. Yeah, they can hop it. Okay. Ah. Oh. I've never seen a snake go down a ladder before. That was weird. <laughs> All right, we can see if we can hack this turret. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's right. We don't have Haywire Protocol. I forgot. I think it's on the next upgrade. We get something called Haywire Protocol. It allows us to hack robotic things like turrets. But at the moment, we can probably just kill it. Chuck a grenade. Grenades will shred armor and do two damage as well. Okay, chuck a grenade, two damage, and then just... Yeah, eh, I don't know if we can kill that right away. I do want to kill this snick, though. So perhaps we just say, fuck the turret and kill the snick. 98%, huh? Eighty-nine percent. Ten percent crit, really? Ugh. Forty percent crit. Flanking target. So she's technically in cover. She's getting the. Um, so I was wondering how this is working on like the first couple missions. I'm sure I was. I'm sure I was talking about it on the episode. She is next to cover. And that is blocking some of our flanking crit. For instance, our uh, Winifred Payne soldier here, if we decide to shoot her, she gets, look at that, she gets no crit chance, even though she's obviously not using any cover. The fact that we are not technically flanking her means that we don't get the 40% crit for a flank shot, even though she's not in cover. That's interesting. I've never even considered that before. That makes a big difference. All right, so how do we take care of the snake? Um, she's not immune to acid. She is immune to poison. If you have a gas grenade, certain enemies are going to be immune to certain types of grenades. For instance, uh, later on, there's a guy called Andromedon, and he uses acid to attack you. So he's immune to acid burns. You can still damage him with an acid grenade, but it's immune to acid burns. She can be damaged by gas grenades, but she's immune to poison damage, which you normally get from gas grenades. Anyway, all this rambling... I have to decide now, do I want to grenade these guys, which would instantly kill the advent trooper? Do I want to grenade the turret, or just... Sh I think I just want to shoot the turret down. So if that's the case, let me go for my 40% crit. There we go. Come on, crit. That's not a crit. That's not a crit. Well, darn it. I'm a snake. At least turrets really aren't that big of a deal. The nice thing about turrets, they have 50 aim. So if you're in low cover like this, their aim is going to be 30. They have a very low chance of hitting you. I cannot hit both of them. But I can expose the snake. Is that worth it? Expose the snake? Not sure that's worth it. I 
Hmm. I don't know. I'm always undecided about this shit. Well, this is gonna happen. Damn it. It's still moving! That's what she said. Alright, well, since we missed that, I am gonna waste a grenade here. Throwing grenade! And hopefully it kills the advent guy. It's got a one in five chance of killing him. No dice. What? That didn't blow up her cover? Fuck my life. Alright. Lightning hands on the trooper. Free shot. There we go. That's right. And now let's kill this snake. Please? Fuck. Of course. So Snake Snake is the first enemy we're going to find that has dodge. Dodge is a set chance that no matter how well you hit them, they will cancel out most of the damage. In that case, we, um, we definitely hit the Snake for a lot because the dodge only did three damage to her. Um, the dodge on a snake is 33%, so she's got a 33% chance of quote-unquote dodging your shot, no matter how good your shot is. Later on, there's enemies like Archons and stuff that have a 66% chance to dodge your shots, which is really fucking annoying. Uh, there is there's no way I can think of to counter a dodge, but thankfully we have Stocky here, and even if we miss with Stocky, she's still dead. You can't dodge Stocky. We missed, and we still killed her. Thank you, Stocky. All right, turret, take your shot. All right, that one hurt. Really? No! Yeah. Fucking hell. I want to go home! They just hit me on a 30% balls. Fuck you, turret. Fuck you, turret! Well, it's nice to know Michael Bay is having a blast. Oh my god, we're doing like nothing to this thing. The armor? My ammo's running low. I guess we have to grenade it then. I don't want to grenade it, but I guess we have to. That's affirmative. Just to get rid of some of the armor. I don't even want to do that. Hmm. Oh, we can use combat protocol. Right. Uh, so here's an interesting thing, thing about combat protocol. It does two. It does two damage to organic targets, but it does double damage to mechanical targets. So we can just kill this with combat protocol. Make the position. Get him, gremlin. And it ignores armor. That's the best part. Yep, no armor for you. So we saved the grenade. Good. Moving to Overwatch. Unfortunately, we just wasted two whole turns on um, one enemy. On one pod. The turret does not count as a pod. So when it said, quote unquote, easy, it meant three pods. The turret wasn't a part of that. Okay, first pod down. Panic removed. Good. Poor Tobbs. This is the first time Tobbs gets to see action. No, that's not true. Tobbs came on the last mission. He did admirably on the last mission. But uh, this mission was a doozy for Tobbs. 30% freaking turret shot and gets 4 damage. At least he wasn't killed, right? Okay, we got to break into this building. Is that on the second floor or the first floor? I think that's the first floor. All right, let's get to move on. They don't have eggs. You're right. Advent and tune. 
Basement. It is a very generic pod, right? It's uh, an officer and two regular dipshits. That's affirmative. How far can we launch these grenades? Let's find out. Okay, we can get rid of their cover and hit one of them. Or we can just go for the officer. Oh, that looks good. Can we hit both and the car? I don't think we can hit both in the car, but maybe? Yes, there we go. Both, both enemies and the car. Beautiful. Catch! I'm hoping the car blows up. The car did not blow up. Forty-seven. Hmm. Sixty-seven. We might use the flashbang here. What's our chance to hit? On my way. Sixty-nine. Shotguns are great, but their chance to hit from long range is not very good. All right, I think we just kill the officer here. Just grenade him. I hate to do it, but it's a guaranteed kill. Grenade out! Hope he didn't have loot. Okay. Headed there now. Fifty percent, and it's a guaranteed kill if it hits. That's some fucking revenge right there. Hostile neutralized. And Stocky's gonna finish this guy off. Get him, Stocky. Doesn't matter if you miss. You didn't miss. Abschuss <laughs> bestätigt. Promotion. Nice. Sure thing. Scanning. Kaboom! I love the car explosions in this game. It's very Michael Bay. Um, so that's two pods down. There's one pod left. And there's probably going to be a reinforcement pod. Uh, I say that because we haven't even reached the VIP yet. And I think as soon as we touch the VIP, we're probably going to call in. They're probably going to call in reinforcements. That is my guess. Bestätigt, drück aus. Well, the grenade still killed the car, Habelda Bob. It just killed it on the following turn. So it definitely did enough damage to destroy the car. It was just a timed explosion. Oh, look at these poor civilians. They're, look at this. They're, it's like an outside diner, a little cafeteria on the roof. And they're freaking out. They're like, oh my god, I just wanted a croissant. Why you gotta go blow shit up? Fucking XCOM ruining everything. That's why we can't have nice things. Moving to position. We are the terrorists, by the way. I mean, there's no doubt on about the it. Move. We are the terrorists. Understood. Moving out. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't bring my free reload? Oh, I did. You have the free reload. Perfect. Okay, no, they're not moving. Whatever the pod is, it's not moving. So it's probably either by the exit point or it's probably by the VIP. Uh, do you want to go in the front door or should we just make our own door? We could save some time by just blowing up the wall. Kind of feels like a waste, though. But time is of the essence. I guess we'll blow up the damn wall. How did I now? If we go indoors, we have to open this door here and then go around the corner. Of the, that's just going to take too long. Heading to that location. Oh, 
Uh, maybe I could use a smaller grenade. Yeah, use this grenade. Keep the big grenade for an enemy. Where is the door? There? Okay, over here then. I'm sorry. Did I make a mess? I made a mess. <laughs> totally worth it. Heading out. That's affirmative. Got it covered. Scanning. Moving to Got Overwatch. Find us in Bewegung. Okay, the pod is... It sounds like outside the back of the building. Can't hack the door from here. Probably hack from here. And definitely hack from here. Uh, but let's see... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, is that... It's a sectoid. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, an adorable little sectoid. Can't attack him yet for some reason. I guess because he's not activated. Uh, this is probably a good opportunity to activate. I don't know why he's not active. Hmm. All right, I'm straight up surprised that he's not activated. Heading there now. Still not activated. Really? Wow. Um, I wonder how close we can get. Moving on target location. Why aren't you active? Can I see inside the building, please? Oh my god, game, show me the inside of the building, please. Game, what the fuck? I can't launch my grenades if I can't target the inside of the building, and it's not... Okay, the game is refusing to show me the interior of the building. That sucks. I know where the uh, sectoid is, but I can't launch stuff at him because the game's saying no. You can't see there. Hmm. This is probably a good opportunity just to overwatch everyone. See what happens. I'm on the move. Okay. What was that? It's a sectoid. Ah, uh, okay. Now I can see inside. Yeah, he's still there. And now it lets me launch. Why didn't you let me launch last turn, damn it? Grenade out. I wonder what else is in that pod. Where's your friends? Advent troop spotted. Fucking stun lancers on the roof. Oh no. <sighs> okay, stun lancers on the roof. That's bad. But I have a flashbang for them. That's good. Tickle, tickle. Uh, before we flashbang him, I'm going to launch a grenade and see if we can't blow out the floor underneath him. Grenade out! They will drop, they will take damage from falling. So this could be good. Alright, so he's at 1 HP, he's at 3. I have no more grenades. Oh, fuck. But, I guess they're out of cover. That's, that's a good way to start. Moving out! Uh, sure, kill the sectoid. Why not? Bye, sectoid. That's how it's done. No shit. Stocky, please take care of Mr. One Hit Point. 
Bedrohung ausgeschaltet. And uh, yeah, I'll take 100%. Poor guy. Enemy destroyed. Okay, that worked out. Promotion. All right, if you'd like to hack, please. Exit is right over there. And there's a door? There's a door. Perfect. Bin schon unterwegs. They sure don't have eggs. Infiltriere Zugangspunkt. What do we got? Income increase or contact costs? I think I want the contact. I mean, income increase, yeah, but reducing the intel cost could be amazing. Yeah. No dice. Oh well, it was worth a shot. And you can't fail at unlocking doors anyway, so that works. Nein, Kinderspiel. Yeah, that, those grenades worked out so well for us. Menace 1-5 status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Are you done using the toilet, Mr. VIP? Vladimir Malakov. Yeah, he's done using the toilet. All right, let's start making our way. Got it. Running. Running. Affirmative. On it. They're bringing in reinforcements. They sure are. Yeah, as soon as you activate the VIP. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. As soon as you activate the VIP, you're pretty much guaranteed to get reinforcements. All right, VIP. VIP, Mr. Vladimir, please get the fuck out of here, Vladimir. Did I see acid? Why is there acid on our feet? Oh, because I threw an acid grenade over here, of course. Oh, whatever, we can just evac, I guess. We don't have to stick around. But if... Oh, God, acid. This is a problem. We could just try to chill and uh, take out the reinforcements and hope the acid goes away. The acid will go away, but we're limited on our options here. Like, Tobbs is at one hit point. Uh, and if they come in and they, they immediately overwatch, we're in trouble. Alright, get you out of here. VIP secure and in position for evac. Bye, Vladimir. Whee! This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Shut up, Firebrand. Okay, you don't have to get acid. I can prevent Winifred from taking acid. Let's go this way, I guess. We can't navigate through this, though. It's fucking walled off with acid. Maybe we just accept the acid burns and hope for the best. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> it can't be that bad. Surely, it's just a little acid. It'll go away. You'll be fine. Hmm. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving. What bothers me is we have no grenades. Like, I'm not sure how we're going to handle this without grenades. One tile. Two tiles. We can stay put and just hope the acid goes away. There's no way they can see in these walls, right? We're behind full cover here. All these walls are intact. So we, they can't see our troops. And if we stay put, the acid will go away. I don't know how long it'll take. So the question is, can we kill whatever comes in with one gunner, one shotgun, and one specialist? And the answer is maybe. I mean, maybe we can kill everything that comes in. Maybe not. Bin schon dabei. I guess we're going to take that risk. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Now, I'm not sure if Overwatching will trigger the acid. Doesn't say so. We might be okay just to overwatch here. Got 
Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. All right, let's see what comes in. Just three troopers. Okay. Wish we had some grenades for him, but we don't. We've got advent here. Yes, run my Overwatches. Good. Good dead. Really, we missed that. Fifty-nine. I've All got right. nothing. Nailed him. We only have three turns to get out of here, though. Nah. Two turns. So it looks like we're gonna have to run the acid no matter what. Well, now I feel stupid. We're kind of forced to run the acid. Oh, balls. Confirmed. <laughs> oh, I love the way their legs fold up Target on each other. Neutralized. Ninety-one percent. That'll do. Okay. So I guess we can leave now. Copy that. But we're gonna get acid. Look at this. Fuck. So we're gonna take acid damage next turn only. It does burn. On it! It's eating through my boots! <laughs> it's eating through my boots! We're gonna take two wounds here from acid damage. That's very sad. Because I could have avoided it, right? If I had sent all the troops around the side, I would have avoided the acid damage. I completely forgot the acid was there. And that's my bad. I'm gone! Minimum rolls on the burn. Good. It's one to three damage, so we got minimum rolls. That's great. Moving to designated position. Los, los, los. Heading out. Sure thing. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Whee! Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I hope the acid doesn't eat through the Sky Ranger. That would be bad. Three wounds. Most damage, dude bro Mansky. Most attacks, winner for pain. Most under fire, Tobbs 3000. And move farthest, winner for pain. No, the acid didn't fall from the roof. The acid was actually shot onto the floor. We shot the acid first, and then we used a regular grenade on the roof. But for some reason, the acid disappeared for one turn. It was not there when we ran the um, VIP through, the, through that area, and then all of a sudden it was there. The acid bugged out. Yeah, that was really weird. Why wasn't the acid there for one turn? I don't know. It just wasn't. Light wound, light wound, light wound. Gravely wounded. Oof. All right. Promotions. Shadow step. It means you never trigger overwatches. So nice. And haywire protocol. So we can now take over and disable mechanized units like that turret that shot us for 30% for four damage. You can either take it over or shut it down. Very cool. And we've rescued Vladimir Molokov. Oh, he's got a flat top. Look at that motherfucker. Hello, Commander. Shut up. Engineer, which means... Um, I guess we can start digging out this debris. Dig it out, baby. Dig it out. Shit. Shit. Bail Machine, thank you for subscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Bail Machine. Do you bail hay for a living, Bail Machine? We need 20 Illyrium. Oof. 
You know what? We're going to have to check the black market and see if we can't buy some Illyrium there. It's going to cost us some intel, but maybe we get lucky. How long are the wounds? Five days. Five days. 46 days on Tobs. Fuck me, that's a long time. Holy fucking hell, that's a long time. Yeah, Blade Master Ranger. <laughs> I know, right? Because swords are fucking epic. I kind of feel like swords are in the game for a reason. I don't know what the reason is yet, but they're in the game and I want to use them because swords are cool, man. Ooh, engineer. Uh, we need to finish making contact, but there's some supplies and an engineer that I would like to pick up. And I also need to... Look at all this shit we have to scan. There's a black market that I want to get to soon, because I need to buy some Illyrium. I need 12 Illyrium. I need this engineer badly, and I need these supplies. But the supplies, I mean, I'm not really using them yet. I need to make contact in West Asia. Hmm. I need the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Let's see if they have any Illyrium to buy. Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. Where is that? Is that Leon? Is that Borgancha? Somewhere around there. Okay, Black Market is open for business. Now, in the previous XCOM, XCOM 2012, it was just always available. But in this one, you have to fly there every time you want to use it. Market is open. Let's see. They, they want PCS speed, Illyrium cores, and advanced stun lancers. I don't want to give you any of that shit. I can get rid of the PCS speed. All right. They have Illyrium. 40 Intel. Done. I can buy an engineer for 105 Intel. Done. I can buy some supplies. I can buy magnetic weapon research. Ho ho ho. I don't know, man. A hundred intel? Now, this is something that, that you need to keep in mind. It says it has the research time, but it doesn't. In legendary difficulty, you never have you never have the research time. When you get your first scientist, it's not a 50% reduction in science time. When you get uh, rushed, rushed research like this, it does not cut it in half. It cuts it by 33%. So keep that in mind. It says half. It's not half on legendary. Ah, oh, that's tempting. It's tempting to get these supplies as well, but 94 supplies is not that much. I think I'll hold off. Alloys could be good, though. Yeah, give me the alloys. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm going to start my Scilab. Oh, baby. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I don't have enough power! Fuck! Put that engineer to work. Get this done. I need that fucking power, man. Holy shit. Nine days I can start the Scilab. All right. So we bought an engineer. That's that's an amazing find. Um, let's go get another engineer. Avenger plotting new course. Engineers are so valuable early game. No mission, no mission, no mission, no mission. Fuck. All right, what do we got? A scientist. Cool. Setting course for the Arctic. The Arctic. All right, excellent. So we've unlocked the black market. Hmm. Corbo. Yeah, this squad will work out just fine. 
Make weapons available. Make items available. But come back next time for Operation Starfire. It's a moderate mission. Probably got some stun lancers and shit like that. Probably has a viper or two. We're here there to rescue a scientist. We've already got two scientists, but this one will get us, I think it's like a 15 or 14% speed increase. Pretty, pretty significant. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.